Oklahoma's academic performance is not where it needs to be. State Superintendent Ryan Walters continued criticizing the state's accreditation standards during today's Board of Education meeting. He says these standards are focused more on finances rather than academic success. Tonight, he is introducing what he calls a sweeping reform plan. Newsline's Chris Yu has the latest. When it comes to reading, Oklahoma scores below the national average. When it comes to math, same thing. I want to be clear. Failure is not an option for Oklahoma schools. So on Thursday, State Superintendent Ryan Walters unveiled a proposal to reform accreditation for school districts in the state based on academic performance. Reading and math are two of the core subject areas that if we don't have a basic understanding of those in the early grades, it makes it nearly impossible for students to get into the innovative programs. Under Walter's proposal, if more than 50% of students in a district score below the basic threshold in English or math on state assessments, that district would receive an academic deficiency. The district would then need to increase its score by 5% each year to not get another downgrade in accreditation. Should a district get downgraded to the last level, it risks losing funding. Districts that do fill the 50% threshold would get resources from the state to help raise their scores. That's finances, that's programming, that's personnel from the agency, and we will target those resources to the schools that need the help to change what they're doing. Walters says they are working to finalize a draft of the reform. It will then go to public comment for 60 days before the board votes on it. If approved, the proposal will go before the legislature. I contacted the major school districts in the metro, but they told me they cannot comment just yet because they are unfamiliar with the proposed reform. In the newsroom, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.